Treat them mean to keep them keen. So stupid that it works that way. It's literally the opposite of what you want to do as a man. And it hits everybody in the face like a truck when you find out, I've been doing everything wrong. There's a reason she goes after those narcissistic and that's who she cries over. Oh no, we haven't. How women rate men. This is a new channel recommended on Discord. I kind of like her videos. Asian girl reacts to passport bros. And at that age, men are just in their prime years, dating women 10 years younger than them. Men age like a fine wine. I'm 31 and I have wrinkles on my forehead, saggy titties <gasps> and jowls. And he gets new gray hairs. She's literally gorgeous. Because it isn't fat unattractive? No. Then why did you write this fat guy negative 10? Because... Oh my god, just shut the fuck up, you little white fucking head sharing <laughs> Okay, Bruh. a hard dose of reality. These women have manipulated themselves into thinking that what they have for men are high standards. But uh, I, I can already tell she has a fire compilation. It's about to get into the double standards quick. Brian, thanks so much for the 10 brothers. I highly recommend a, dom a documentary on Prime called Her Name Was Bet. The story of an alcoholic. It touches on alcoholism and how it has a big effect on how big of an effect it has on women's bodies. Thanks, brother. But they've turned dating into a hustle. Free meals. Hey, Smira Beauty. I'm always surprised whenever I see videos of modern women on social media shouting about women are better than men, spreading hate for men, spreading false body positivity, false women support women. Woo. I don't have a problem with, with equal rights and equal opportunities, but modern is where we have a problem and I hope it will not spread further oh what women have become I just really hope this cancer won't spread that far not here please okay so in today's video let's react to some of the videos that make me feel embarrassed as a woman if you were to rate me on a scale from 1 to 10 what yeah. would I be I give you a 9 a 9? Oh. 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 I'll give you a 7 Man, dude, this guy's tiny. He must be a dwarf. Sorry, I'm not interested in being friends with midgets. Midgets piss me out. Huh, I'm The comments under this video have been <laughs> distasteful, I remember disgusting, this and outright disrespectful. I mean, she doesn't have a problem degrading an entire group of men, but she gets upset when someone reverses it. It's all fun and game until somebody reverses it, and then he has to be cancelled. That is how the society runs nowadays in the West, I know. When you look at yourself, when you're dealing with the opposite gender, what would you say you need to improve? Because I, I know you, you're not perfect girls, that's real. Yes. Um, what, what? Yeah, I don't think there's any flaws. I don't have a flawless, obese and flawless, cool story. I just saw a cool comment. Invested 8.5K in a mushroom, so hopefully we'll get a medical shop next year. See Fatal, now that's awesome. Thanks for the five, brother. Nothing Nothing to you don't know. I think I'm a top-notch woman, to be honest. Top-notch woman. You got a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Then you're not a top-notch lover. Can you guys write down in the comment section what is a top-notch woman for you? And if you can also include your age, that would be great. What do you rate these people's attractiveness from one through ten? What do you rate this guy? Zero. What about this girl? Ten. What about this guy? Zero. What about this guy? Zero. This guy is a zero. But this girl's a 10. Yeah. But this guy's a male model. Okay, he's a zero. Nah. Seven, five, four. This. This at the top. But this guy's a male model. Okay, he's a zero. Again. Nah. Is rating this guy a nah. This. Bruh. Is a nah. <laughs> when we say the delusions of the Western woman, this is this is what we mean. Imagine standards so sky high, dude. Fucking space shuttles can't reach that shit. Tremendous. Seven, five, four, three, eight, zero. Two. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Is he attractive? No. He... No. Can I see a picture of him? This is my boyfriend. Yeah, he looks pretty attractive. That's the problem. That guy looks very attractive. I don't know why you're calling him ugly. Isn't it kind of rude to say that your boyfriend's not attractive? I don't care. Um, unless he's not listening to it. Zero. Zero. What about this girl? Five. Six. What about this guy? Zero. zero. What about this girl? Five. So this guy's a zero. Yes. But this girl's like a five? Because we support women. 
I see that these women won't date an overweight man. That's so obvious. But a perfect body with abs is one out of 10. And women can be any size and they're beautiful and they're 10 out of 10. Right, it's the cult video we watched earlier with body positivity. The sisterhood has to lie to each other. And you see it in the comments on TikTok. It's thick queen, it's yes, beautiful, so strong, so independent, fire, slay girl in that fucking 8XL dress you're wearing. You can hardly breathe doing your 10 second TikTok dance. You're already sweating up a storm. All you did was stand up. You sweat just breathing. Strong, boss babe, a survivor. Even though obviously they're sick. I mean, I'm sure they are having a hard time getting up, having a hard time breathing and moving. I just don't understand. And then you also see these women only dating men with perfect bodies. I don't get it really. Where is the 1 out of 10 rating coming from then? I feel like they are rating men very low to degrade them so that they can justify that women are better than men. But you know what? These women are the ones who's also complaining about how this narcissistic, attractive, perfect man ghosted them. When they can actually pick an average looking guy, but is not a player. I've met so many narcissistic boys. I've been speaking a lot about how Bruh. awful men treat women. The problem with narcissistic, attractive men, they keep on dating narcissistic men as they call them. Jazz. And also they keep on complaining about them. Oh my God. Don't even Negative emotion. one million. Okay, what about this girl? She's a 10, she's pretty. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, she's a five. She's a three. Wait, so this guy's a three, but this girl is a 10? Yes. So she's cool. obese though. I mean, do you see? These are younger chicks too, but even the older ones that are seething with angry, angry, bitter energy from getting pumped and dumped by the very chads that they complain are narcissistic. This is the exact reason Passport Bros is blowing up. I'm telling you, 2023 is this stuff's going to go mainstream. Watch. She's not obese. She's gorgeous. What do you mean? She's literally more gorgeous, gorgeous. than you. But isn't it a fact that she's obese though? Yeah, but she's gorgeous. She's literally gorgeous. Because isn't fat unattractive? No. Then why did you write this fat guy negative 10? Because... Oh my god, just shut the fuck up, you little white fucking head sharing. <laughs> One. What about this girl? 10. Wait, so this guy's a 1, but this girl's a 10? Yes. Thanks, Azaria. But she's obese. So? Isn't that unattractive? Madison Beer. She's, she's pretty. Is this girl as good looking as Madison Beer? Yes. Why are you lying? Come on. I'm not lying. She's pretty. She's obese. She, her body is like a 1 out of 10. It's not about looks. It's about personality. What? How could she say that? She doesn't even know her. But you don't know her personality. So she's still pretty. <laughs> Would you date someone that was overweight? Absolutely not. Okay, so nowadays women <laughs> kind of overinflate other women in terms of attractiveness just because they don't want to hurt their feelings. Sounds like a saving face. Well, the intention is good, but the long term effect of that is not good. Okay, I get it women support women woo, or body positivity but being overweight we already know that is a medical problem that increases the risk of heart disease diabetes high blood pressure everything all co comorbidities obesity is like the worst one it increases your outcome of death across the spectrum on every single thing you can possibly imagine and we just came out of two years of you know what and who are the ones dropping dead from it? Mostly obese people. And certain cancers. If you support them really, then you won't say being overweight is attractive because it is like recommending them to just continue their lifestyle of not minding their calorie intake or not pursue an active lifestyle even though you know that there can be so many problems that may come with it. So therefore, you are spreading false body positivity or fake women support women. And influencers who are spreading false body positivity saying that being overweight is healthy don't see the danger in what they're doing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're having an awesome oh, day. Oh, this one again. I'm having knee pain. Look at her. <laughs> like when I go downstairs, like 
Um, I haven't done a body positive video in kind of a while and I wanted to sit down today and film one. I'm not feeling good. I don't know when we're going to be able to just stop like differentiating between plus size and normal. It size 14 is not the health standard. Ooh. Like every, I believe bigger people, smaller people, anyone can be healthy. But I know I need to get Ooh. some of this excess weight off me because I'm just not, I'm not feeling good anymore. Exactly. But the thing here is they have so many followers who are taking and following their advice. Okay, obviously she regrets what she did to her body, but she has money. She can reverse it, do these expensive procedures to lose weight. But how about their supporters and followers who are in the same exact <laughs> position as them in terms of health? All throughout the years, they followed this. In Don't do Pearl like that. Pearl was actually beneficial to the society she was in. <laughs> She had a job and she was doing it well. Influencers believing that being overweight is healthy, that they don't need to mind their calorie intake, will be left sitting there depressed and sick because they cannot just reverse it because they can't afford it. It's just so dangerous what these influencers are doing. I don't know why they don't see that. All right, hold on. So her red flag is she dated the nicest guy of all time. After the second date you went on with a guy, he built you a Build-A-Bear? That's cute as <laughs> Two dates, five. I hope you get no more gifts for the end of time. You're so ungrateful. $50? Why do you have a problem with guys being nice to you? I just think it's funny how the tables have turned. This is why we say simp it ain't healthy, dude. You can't do anything nice for a today. It's seen as creepy, seen as weird. You're seen as needy. It's so twisted, dude, to show your romantic side today. Emotional damage. Mm. Treat them mean to keep them keen. So stupid that it works that way. It's literally the opposite of what you want to do as a man. And it hits everybody in the face like a truck when you find out, damn, I've been doing everything wrong. There's a reason she goes after those narcissistic assholes. And that's who she cries over. Beta! And you're the one hearing all that shit. And you're going, oh my god, I, but I'm the perfect guy. Why don't you ever pick me? Beta bear! It used to be men with such high standards of what they wanted in a woman. But plot twist, these women are demanding more. No longer accepting the bare minimum. No longer accepting bottom of the barrel we have standards now, and these men are hurt by it. I hate my friends' boyfriends. My friends are these beautiful, intelligent, successful women that deserve the world. And they will rock up my birthday with Joe from Tinder. Joe can barely string a sentence together and makes her cry twice a week. The only thing I want from Joe is for him to f off out of both of our lives. Are nope. men really hurt by it, or they're just hurting themselves? Another thing is when women do find a nice guy that actually treats them with respect. They would self-sabotage saying, oh, he's too kind, I'm afraid I would fall in love. Or other women would sabotage their relationship because he's too basic and he's that bare minimum kind of a guy. They think they have high standards, so they shouldn't settle for men that are too basic. Okay. A hard dose of reality, these women have manipulated themselves into thinking that what they have for men are high standards. But they've turned dating into a hustle. Free meals. I mean, if the restaurant is cheap, they only have to pay 500 pesos for two. Okay, then why not? But that's not the case. They say they are independent, but they have codependency issues. But I'm saying like to a guy, like money is nothing. Like men do not care about your money. So if money is nothing, they can afford my $200,000 engagement, right? I mean, modern women can't see the Ooh. difference between delusion and reality. Okay, so what can you bring to the table? A WAP? Mm. It's just not realistic. Unless she's saying she wants to be single for the rest of her life. And then later on, complain on TikTok with a three minute video saying how lonely they are at the age of 30, 40, 45. Don't send that thank you for a nice time message after a first date. The key is not Why? to need him. You like this man? Do less. Literally do nothing and see what happens. You like this man? Ooh. Do nothing and then see what happens. Okay, this is what will happen. I'm gonna tell you. 
they will leave you and go with a girl who would actually appreciate him. That's what's gonna happen. I don't know what are you expecting to see. And they're all wondering what happened to men. Where are the good men? Why are they leaving? Can anyone justify this item? They can't. No. The gender, I beg your pardon. I can justify it. Well, I, I tell you what, stars don't get paid more money because, uh, I mean, you, a sport doesn't become interesting because the stars are paid more money. Stars get paid more money because the sport is interesting. Let me ask you this. How many exactly. of you guys on the panel know who our Australian Matildas are playing in the quarterfinals? Don't. No, because you don't care about it. Now, if you cared about it... I do it, if they win. No, no, they they beat them. Them. Beat them. All of you can go and watch W League uh, games in the women's competition here, but you don't. Now, when you start to go and watch these women play the wonderful football they do, then they'll earn more money. But it's, I don't go to watch the men play football either. Yeah, I know, but a lot of people do, Ita. The, the Men's World Cup is one of the biggest money spinners on the planet. Women's football, even though at grassroots level, it's working really, really well. It's got a long way to go. We all know in most sports, there is less of a market for the women's side of the game. Example, women's football or soccer. or we She's talking some of that misogyny. She better cut it out. Misogyny. YouTube don't play that stuff women's basketball. If you look at TV coverage, ticket sales, and other market indicators, most men's sports will outperform women's sports. On average and across sport, that's a statistical fact. I don't know you guys, but there is simply much less market in women's sports, like the World Cup two days ago. Everyone is waiting for that every four years. Count me in. But who's waiting for females' World Cup? Even women don't wait for that. They don't even watch it. These women who are arguing that men, women should be paid as much as men in sports don't even watch women's sports. I will not go to the performance level of men and women, but you already know that. We don't even have to discuss it. I'm not gonna add anything anymore to that because let's not forget we are on YouTube. Exactly. I broke up with my ex because he didn't send me flowers. And when I tell you that my fucker didn't eat for a week, because I blocked him on everything, because I was not about to repeat myself one more time. I had flowers the next day at my doorstep with a little note, and that's on period. Broke men will always take into account how much money you make. They will always question what value you bring to the relationship. I just left the gas station and nobody offered to pay for my gas. Women are just smarter, so they should Wait. be the ones making the decision. Okay, rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm a 10. Well, across the board. Oh, period. That means you're paying for everything. You're paying for everything, and you're gonna do it with a smile on your face. You know what? It's feeling like you can't even afford to breathe my air at this point. Bruh. Why stay? Why breathe your air? Don't want to. So men are leaving. I don't want to share the same air as you. I will leave. Imagine. Now, the delusion comes from the simps in her comment section. In her DMs, telling her how she deserved $50 on Venmo for waking up and being so beautiful. But that's not a man in her eyes anyway. The actual man she's chasing for and going after. A thousand other women are, and those guys are playing the field and enjoying the fruits of dating culture. And so those are the assholes she talks about. The broke guy she's talking about, it's funny that they make these TikToks because they don't give those broke guys the time of day. You're talking to a ghost that you never even run into or deal with. It's funny. It's the same thing with passport bros. These are the quote dusties that are leaving America in droves, yet you can't stop talking about them. If these dusties are low quality males that you never run across and never deal with, why are you even making videos about them? Why why give them airtime? Why worry about a dusty? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Men destroy nothing but themselves. They manipulate themselves into thinking they have high standards, that they've turned the tables, and that men are hurt by it. Well, let's see when they reach 30, 35, 40, and are still single. They will start complaining about how lonely they feel, how they wish there is someone they can share their day with. And at that age, men are just in their prime years, dating women 10 years younger than them. Because men Perfect. age like a fine wine. I'm 31 and I have wrinkles on my forehead, saggy titties and jowls. And he <gasps> gets new gray hairs in his beard and his mustache and he's never looked sincere. I'm single now and I'm Ooh. 54 this year. And then you, you think, 
Well, who is going to be interested in me when they can get 30 year old? Oh, life is just really lonely. Oh. I'm at the beach and I see all these families and all these couples and I just look and go, Perfect. what the hell did I do so long Ooh. in a past life that I can't find that for myself? So at the end of the day, mm. these women hurt no one but themselves. Like I said, I don't have a problem with equal rights and equal opportunities, but modern is where we have a problem and I really really hope it will not get here. Modern women will literally do everything to bring men down even if it means losing common sense and logic. I know there are still some good women out there but I'm sure it's so difficult to find them. If you agree leave me a thumbs up. Nailed it. Nick Andrews, uh, retiring and leaving Canada for Japan this week. Hopefully my life will be less stressful there. Thanks for showing us that we can still be men. Thank you for tuning in, brother. As far as uh, her channel, guys, I know you're asking in the comments and I saw that. Rubati right here. Oh, let me scroll it up a bit. There you go.